Hey there, uh, today we wanted to show you a new feature about uh, an upgrade we made to how emails are sent to your customers and to the administrators. We get a lot of requests for having the ability to send um, notifications after each form submission to multiple administrators and to customize the look and feel of the emails. So I think you will like uh, these new features. If you've never used Payable Forms before, go to our YouTube channel and check out another form. Uh, it'll show you how to get up and running to accept payment using a Google form. Uh, this email is just designed for people to check out the new customized email options. So if you're a user of Payable Forms, you're probably used to seeing emails like this that go out each time somebody submits your form. Today, the emails go out as the installed user. So whoever you used to set up the add-on, these emails will be coming as that Gmail user or as that Google account user. It's a simple plain text email that says something like, thanks for your submission, um, gives the order ID, the amount, and the link across to the checkout page. If the customer has paid, this would of course be the receipt and show you their transaction has been paid or their order has been paid for. Um, and so this text has been customizable. You can customize it a little bit, but overall, um, there are some problems with this flow. Uh, one of the problems is that Google only allows us to send 100 emails per day on behalf of a normal Gmail account and 200 emails per day on behalf of a Google Workspace account. So the new solution allows you to get as many orders as you wish uh, without needing to worry about running into that limit. It also allows you to use a different email address as the reply to email than your Google account email. So if you signed up or created the form under your personal email. Traditionally, there was no way to change this uh, sender, the mail sender, but now you can do that in the setup. So let's show you how you would configure that and what the new emails look like. So you would need to open the add-on and if it wasn't open, you just have to go to payable forms and configure payment settings inside of the Google form you're working with. This will reopen the sidebar. Um, once your form has been made payable by following the getting started section steps, you'll see the notification settings here. So we're going to click on that and uh, we are going to change from the classic email that setup that you are well aware of to the advanced email setup. Once the advanced email is open, you can see here that you can cu customize the reply to email. And so when somebody clicks reply on your automated uh, emails, this is where it will go. So I might want to switch this for mine to, just for this example, to contact at, let's just say, dogwalkingusa.com, uh, if I had that domain. And when you leave the input, it'll validate it and save it. Um, if you have want to receive notifications on each new order, which I will at my Gmail, but I could also add other uh, emails like, uh, let me just add Kyle at payableapps.com because he also wants to be notified each time we get a notification email. So these are some of the new settings. You can also customize uh, the body and uh, can't wait to go for a walk. And you can customize the content here. Be careful not to um, to delete the double curly brackets. These get pre-populated with the uh, information from the order itself. There's a different email body for free orders if you wanted to, and you can turn on payment reminders. So now that that's done, let's take a look at how it works. One thing you'll wanna know is that the title of your form, what's listed right here, dog walking request form, will come across, uh, will be converted into a sending email address and act as the sender. And we'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm going to put in my dog's name, Patrick, and we're going to submit the form again now that we've set up advanced. I'm going to hit submit. And I am going to go across, but we will also check out my inbox. So I should receive a couple emails because I am both the administrator and one test order. Okay, so here is the email that your customers would receive. So you could see the sender is dog walking request. So dog walking request form. So if you don't like this sender name being dog walking request form, uh, all you really need to do is update your Google form itself to let's say um, Kyle's, Kyle walks um, 
you know, if you wanted it to be something easy and short like that, uh, all you would have to do is update it there. And if you wanted to change the colors or the styles, all you need to do is uh, change the colors of your theme. And then when you go payable forms, sync theme, that will sync both the title and the colors to your email template as well. So um, again, the title ends up being your sender name. And then we also turn the title into a email notifications. You can see here coming from payable apps. So now you can see what your customers are seeing here for their uh, order confirmation email. So they got a dog walking request form. It has the color and the logo. This one is still in test mode. So you can see here that it's in test mode. Here is my text that I had uh, set up in the sidebar add-on. And we also include now your line items of the any option that somebody chose that had a money amount inside it will also be included in the email. There's a QR code that the customer can show to you. And if you scan it with your phone, it will just bring you to the order details page. So you could look to see if it was paid or they could bring it up again and they could scan it from their inbox and pay with Apple Pay on their phone if they wanted to. It's just a quick way to get a user from the inbox to uh, the order details page. And um, that is about it. Otherwise, the admin email will have the word admin before the subject and it will include all of the people on it. So you can see here it's to both me and uh, Kyle at Payable Apps that I had specified. When your customer replies, so let's go back to the original one here. And if I was to hit reply on this email, you will see that there, uh, the response is going to go to contact at dogwalkingusa.com. So if there is a catch-all email address or a help email address that you want to use, um, that's what you would set as your reply to email address. And you should see that populate when somebody hits the reply button. So even though the emails are coming from this dynamic email address that we create for you, if you hit reply, it should pre-populate it to the one you've set up. Um, anyways, I hope this demo video was helpful uh, and that you like the new um, email capabilities. They have a nicer layout and they are a bit more user friendly. If you have any comments or feedback and you want to let us know other features, feel free to do so. Uh, thanks again and uh, we'll talk soon.